important. But right now, uh, let's talk about government's one hot new promise. Yesterday, we heard from Albert Sorry, who is in the Upper East region. The students were excited. They spoke about the good quality of the food. But in the northern region, there's something else happening. The students are complaining about the quality of the food they've been served. Hello, Martina. Hi, great to see you, Martina. So tell us uh, briefly what these students' concerns are. Um, they complained that the food was not of quality, and the reason was that um, they brought them jollof rice. Now, with jollof rice, you'd expect that the color would be at least the tomato color that we know, kind of reddish. It was white with them. Um, some oil in it, just like um, as if they used just oil, the oil to prepare the rice. Um, it was half cooked because you could still see parts of uh, parts cooked and parts mm. not cooked. Mm. And so most of them were not too satisfied with the food. And they blamed the caterers for mm. not doing a good job. Mm. And so they just ate the eggs mm. and then they, they left the rice. Oh, that's too bad because like I mentioned earlier, in the Upper East region, the schools that... Uh, uh, our colleague Albert Sorry visited. There was a different story. However, Martina, you've been speaking to some of the students at the Saboba Junior High School and their head teacher as well. Let's listen. I like to appeal to the leaders that they should share and help us. But as we, or since yesterday till now, as we came to school, we didn't eat. But they said they were going to prepare a hot meal for us. We didn't eat anything on the plate. And it's dry and let us get it. What I have to tell you here is they should try and give us the food because we will be suffering. If I go to school sometimes, some of our parents are very poor. And some of, our, some of us are also orphans. So if I go to school, you don't have money to buy anything. Probably we hear the president will be giving us some. We're very happy. But by end, we were disappointed. What I have to tell the leader is they should try and let us get a food. I said uh, we all heard in the 15th address of the president and that uh, uh, the junior high school students and the teachers respectively will be provided with one hot meal. But uh, as of today, uh, the, 20, uh, the 25th of August, uh, we have not seen an issue yet. At least around 12, uh, 15. And we'll also be closing at one o'clock. But as I speak now, we have not seen the meeting, but we are expecting that uh, we would have gotten something as of now for both the students and then the people, most especially the students. Yeah, basically, we can only appeal to those in authority, and most especially uh, those in the suburban area, because uh, we have realized that some of our colleagues elsewhere in the, in the regional capital and other parts of the regions like Upper East and Upper West. But we are in the northern region, so I, we can speak about Tamale Metro. Some of them have benefited. So we are appealing to authorities in Saboba to try as much as they can to make sure that these students especially get this means so that uh, it will enhance our work in the school. Well, Martina, apart from the quality of food, we understand that in some of the schools, the packs are actually branded with the NPP uh, parliamentary candidates of the area. No. Yes. Now, um, Saboba yesterday, they didn't get food at all. Okay. And for the past two days, they haven't had food. But I spoke to the DC this morning, and he says that um, they have made arrangements, and then they would begin uh, serving them the hot meal today. But did now, he tell you why they had missed the first two days? talks about them making amends for the other days that mm. were lost. He says that what they would do is um, they would give them breakfast and lunch for two days to make up for um, what is lost. That's for Saboba. Now, when you come to Tamale Metro, it was in Tamale Metro that um, we had issues of the branding, and that's um, at um, one of the basic schools, that's uh, St. Joseph's Basic School. Mm. And the children were not too happy that the food came in branded uh, party colors. Mm. They thought that they were uh, mixing too much politics in everything, and they as students should not be used for politics. Mm. Uh, and Martina, I, I believe that is the same school you spoke about the quality of the food because we can see what you described and uh, the color exactly. of the of the jollof rice. But Martina, um, we know that the, the gender ministry, which is uh, in charge of this project across the country, says they will investigate the issue of the quality of food 
and also the branding of the packs. But have you been getting any direct response from the, the school feeding directorate in the area? Not yet. It's, it's a bit early yet where I'm, I'm heading towards the, the officers this morning and so the details will be getting it towards the afternoon. Right. Thank you very much. Martina Bugri is our Northern Region correspondent. She's been bringing us some details on uh, some information we picked up yesterday regarding the quality of food being served in the Tamale metropolis and in Saboba. If you live in any community or you are a beneficiary of government, uh, one free hot meal a day for teachers and junior high school students, kindly let us know what you make of what's happening in your area. You're watching the AM show with me, Benis Abubeidulan. So shortly we'll be having a discussion about women in the media. I'll be joined by a convener of the Alliance for Women Africa, Shamima Muslim. You don't want to miss that this day.